Hello, and welcome to a quick video on Kinesiology 644-740, where I'm going to talk about library resources and searching for articles for this class. My name is Sam Harlow, and I am the Kinesiology Librarian, and my pronouns are she, hers, and my email address is slharlow at uncg.edu. Feel free to reach out to me at any time during the semester for any questions you have about kinesiology research. UNCG Libraries has a suite of research modules and tutorials. This is a quick video, so be sure to reference these modules later if you need help with evidence-based practice, annotated bibliographies, literature reviews, APA citations, searching, and more. And for a direct link to these tutorials and modules, you can go to go.uncg.edu ultra. Evidence-based practice, or EBP, is use of current best evidence in making decisions about the care of individual patients, integrating individual clinical expertise with the best available external clinical evidence from systematic research. We can use evidence-based practice to create keywords while we're searching for articles. PICO, or PICO-T, stands for Population, Problem, Intervention, Comparison, Outcome, Type of Study, and it's used within evidence-based practice to find the best care for our patients. Library databases that we're gonna go over in a little bit in this video need keywords. They do not accept natural language processing, and it helps in health sciences to think about PICO to create these keywords. So to do that, you can start with the population problem, start with a few keywords and add more if needed to narrow. AND is a search connector or Boolean operator, and it helps you narrow down your searches for less results. And OR is used with synonyms or like words to expand. If I'm doing a project on professional tennis players and their tendency to have anxiety if they're playing in high stake matches, we can break down this research question into keywords using PICO by looking at the population and problem of what we're trying to find in terms of articles or resources. For the PICO or the population problem, we're looking at professional tennis players, which can also be professional athlete, and then tennis or sports if tennis is too specific and you're not finding enough research, anxiety or depression or mental health. Adding these together, we could create a search term that is about professional athletes and tennis or sports and anxiety or depression or mental health. To put this into practice, let's go to the library website, which can be found at library.uncg.edu and find your specific guide. We're also going to go over citations and citation management with Zotero or zbib.org. Here is the library website at UNCG Libraries. Today, we're going to focus on library databases. This is the library catalog, and though it says all and it says databases, it's not every database we own. Library databases are collections of scholarly resources that can be subject specific. For example, we do have a database on medical and sciences, which includes articles about sports physiology and mental health, as well as a database fully dedicated to sports exercise or physiology called Sport Discus. Those are what we're going to be focusing on today, so we're not going to focus on this red box. If you use this red box in your research, that's fine, but today, again, we're going into databases and research guides by subject. One note about this library homepage is that you can chat with a librarian. Anytime you see this chat box, this is librarians from UNCG Libraries that can help. They are not robots. They are real people, and it could be me. So if you want to ask for a kinesiology-specific research, you can say, hey, I'm a kinesiologist student or hey I'd like to speak to Sam and we will help you if I'm on. The hours during the semester because I'm filming this during the summer are until midnight Sunday through Thursday and during the day Friday and Saturday. For now we're going to go into library databases through our research guides by subject. You can go to library databases here for direct links into all the library databases we have which are 701 databases. You could also go here into subjects and go down to kinesiology to see which one I recommend. But for today, we're going to go into these research guides by subject because we have a research guide for every subject at UNCG. So notice that if your research dips into psychology, we have one for that, public health education, nutrition, etc. Today, we're going to go to kinesiology. And here is the guide I have for all kinesiology majors at UNCG. So if you go to finding articles, it recommends all the library databases that are great for kinesiology. It recommends also resources on finding books, other online resources, websites, APA, and AMA. But notice here on the home page that there is a list of course guides. If I work with courses at UNCG, I make a guide that's specific to your syllabuses and your assignments. 
So here is one on kinesiology class for y'all, psychology of sport and exercise. This should also be found in your Canvas course under library resources tab on the left. So here we have information on library databases, citation generators, as well as APA 7 and Zotero. So to start, we're gonna go to finding articles because here is a list of library databases that I recommend for this class. So the two ones I recommend for psychology of sports and exercise are PubMed and Sport Discus. But notice down here that I do have links out to specifically psychology databases if you would like to try that. Library databases are owned or managed by different companies, so they will have different interfaces. Sport Discus does have a limit of four users at a time, but this should not be an issue. And if it is, be sure to chat us here or from that library homepage that I showed you. Let's start with Sport Discus. To access library databases off campus, it might ask you for a UNCG login. So make sure that you put in that login to access the full text of our holdings. So here is the database for Sport Discus. Sport Discus is owned by a company named EBSCO, which owns many different library databases. We can get started by adding our keywords into these fields. And notice that many library databases already give us and operators, search operators or Boolean operators, search connectors right here. I'm gonna use the keywords from that search that we were talking about earlier on professional tennis players tendency to have anxiety during high stake matches. I'm going to start with professional athlete and tennis or sports and anxiety or mental health or depression. If you have more than one word, such as a phrase in your keywords, it helps to put them in quotation marks to make sure that they are searched together. And now I'm gonna click search. So I only got three, which is pretty small. So one thing you can also do in EBSCO is you can go up to choose databases and get the full suite of databases. So since we're dipping into psychology, I'm gonna go down and find Psych Info, which is our large psychology database, as well as add in academic search complete. If you click on these little arrows, you'll get a description of the library database. And we can see here that this is an interdisciplinary database, which will be good to help expand our search. So now when I search, I have 166 articles. Notice that library databases have more limiters or filters on the left than Google Scholar, including peer reviewed, if you need that for your searching. So if I add in peer review, as well as look at the dates, let's do the last 10 years. I'm now down to 107 articles, uh, peer reviewed articles that I can look through. There are other limiters that can help your searching over here, such as subject, publishers, publication, looking at what journals are getting the most hits, age, gender, and then you can see here which databases got the most hits. So good thing that we expanded out our search to include Academic Search Complete, Psych Info, as well as Sport Discus, which is just about sports exercise. So once you have this list, you can save it by something called a permalink. This link over here is a session link. It will expire. So don't save that. If you want to save this full list of 107 articles, you can go here to share and then grab this permalink right here, which will take you directly back to this page of 107 articles for you to look through later. If you want an article, you just click on a title similar to Google Scholar. Notice another nice thing about library databases is that they have the abstract uh, description of the article, so you can tell if it's relevant or not for your research or for your assignment, as well as populations, keywords. You can also use these tools on the right, such as saving it into Google Drive or OneDrive, creating a folder if you like this interface of um, EBSCO databases, email your results to yourself, find the citation, as well as grab the permalink to the direct article here as well. So to find the PDF of this article, you're going to click on check for full text, and then this will link you back to our catalog, and you're going to need to keep clicking on view full text or a full text link until you get to a page with a PDF. So it takes a second to load. Here it is, and again, we're going to keep clicking on it until we find something that says PDF, and here it is, PDF. Here is the PDF that we can click on to download and save on our computer in any way you like. So that was a quick tour of Sport Discus through EBSCO, where we combined an EBSCO database, Sport Discus, with other databases, such as Academic Search Complete and Psych Info. 
But now we're going to go into PubMed, which is the largest medical and life science database. It is a free to use database, but you need to make sure that you enter through a library research guide such as this or the library homepage in order to get full text access back to the UNCG catalog so that you're not hitting paywalls. So here is PubMed. PubMed is a really large database and it's run by the National Library of Medicine. So it works a little bit differently and it's actually a little more powerful than EBSCO, which we were in before. You can go into advanced if you want that kind of breakdown of keywords, if it makes you feel more comfortable. So here we could say professional athlete, and tennis or sports and anxiety or mental health or depression. The one thing I know because I'm a librarian is that PubMed does not really care about quotation marks. So I am going to take them off. Shouldn't hurt it too much to leave them on. So here I got 2,600 results, which is a lot more than our other results. So again, you're gonna see our stuff over here where we can knock up the date for the last 10 years. Do not worry about text availability because again, it links back to our catalog where we can find you the full text for you. This just shows you the different article types. Everything within PubMed should make it clear whether it is a peer reviewed article or a report, but most of them are peer reviewed articles. So you don't have to worry about that filter as much as in other databases. If you wanted a specific type of article, such as a review, a randomized controlled trial, et cetera, you could narrow it down to that. You can also do the date range through here and you can also do age range and also it has additional filters here where you can do species, article language, sex, they have not changed this yet to gender, age, and other. So once you find an article that you like in PubMed, you can click on it and notice to find the full text here, you're going to click on the UNCG so that it links you back to our catalog. Similar to what we did before with EBSCO, you're going to keep following out the view full text until you find it through our system. You do not find it this way. You can go back into the UNCG catalog and report a broken link. This goes to real people and they will email you when they find it or email you a link to something called interlibrary loan, where if we don't have it, we will email you the article through another system. It also works for books, some eBooks as well. So PubMed also has some other useful things in terms of using it for your research. It shows you similar articles. So if you like this article for your research, you could look to see if these other articles are relevant. It shows you what it's cited. And then it also shows you publication types. This is a review as well as something called mesh terms. PubMed uses mesh terms to classify their subject headings. It stands for medical subject headings. And it can be useful to see what things are being tagged in your search tee to see how you might want to search for your research topic in the future. There's also information on PubMed on the right where you can find citations, title and author, abstracts, similar articles, all this kind of in a table of content type of view. PubMed does not use permalinks in the same way as other library databases. So you can create a login. This is totally optional to save searches. You can save this link right here, but you will lose this UNCG access. So keep that in mind if you're saving links that way. But the best bet is to try to find a full text of the article, that PDF. So that is a quick search of finding library databases through your course research guides. This was a tour of a couple of different library databases, but note that on this tab, you could search other databases, including the main competitor to EBSCO called ProQuest, if you wanted to see what they had in there as well. You also will need to cite for this course and throughout your career at UNCG. Information here about APA 7, including creating in-text citations, as well as a reference list, as well as the formatting, including hanging indentation. As a grad student, I do recommend that you look into Zotero. Zotero is a free and easy to use citation management program that helps you collect, manage, cite, and share your research. So if you want to learn more about it, please go to uncg.libguides.com slash Zotero. You can watch a quick video, just an overview of what it is, as well as the 16 minute video in terms of getting set up. Or if you prefer a textual guide, we have a PDF of how to get set up on Zotero. This is very, very, very crucial for graduate students, particularly if you are writing a dissertation or long projects. Make sure that you check this out later. If you would like a quick citation generator, which is not a citation management program, it just helps you create citations on the fly. Their online free to use citation generator is zbib.org. It's owned by Zotero. 
where you can add in a URL, ISBN, DOI, PMID, or title of an article, and then it creates you a list of citations where you can click on this little box right here to copy it, as well as this little quotation mark as well, as well as it gives you the in-text citation where you can also admit the author, add page numbers, etc. For any one-on-one um, -on -one help from me, just to say this again in this video, you can email me through this guide or through slharlow at uncg.edu. You can schedule an appointment with me either virtually or in the library space, and you can it hooks to my calendar and you can see here the dates I am available, as well as you can chat our library service here to ask us any questions about research.